Well, I showed up. I've always picked up my coworker on the way to work. He works on the same main strip. What is going on with this beard? Must have been the way I slept. Anyway, um, he works on the same, or he lives on the same road that I go down to get to work. So I just pick him up every morning because he starts the early shift with me. I got a message here on the channel, and it's been something that's popped up uh, quite a bit lately. And we need to get to the bottom of this and just squash this shit once and for all. I know this ain't going to be a once and for all thing, but some of you will get it. And uh, let's just look at this real quick. This guy here says, why constantly talk about high mileage oils? These oils have specific applications where they are recommended. High mileage oil is not good for normal engines as they contain chemical components that affect seals. Don't recommend to use high mileage oils unless your mechanic specifically determined for you that you need one. Even with 200,000, if your engine have no leaks and not burn much oil, use regular high mileage oil. In case you started using high mileage oil, you would rather continue using only them as you would rather continue using them as switching back to regular oil may cause leaks. I gotta surf through the comments for this guy's comment. I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, uh, he says, oh, BMW says you can go 15,000 miles. I go every 10. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Until you come to my shop, which my shop were European specialists. I left the Ford dealer to become the general manager, co-owner of the shop. Statistically, that w when we see vehicles, which we... Don't let our customers do that. We tell them 5,000 miles be back here. There ain't no 10,000 miles at our shop. None of the shops around here do that. Um, when we see these customers come in 10, 15,000 miles, it looks exactly like that Audi the other day where the guy shit bricks and there's like sludge and, and varnish buildup and everything else inside. The whole damn filter's full of sludgy oil and the engine's locked up. It's because people doing that dumb shit like that right there. The BMWs and stuff, you can pull the valve covers off and see all the coking and varnish buildup all in the top of the valve train and stuff after these guys do this 10, 15,000 mile oil change intervals over and over and over again. The oils over in Europe are not the same as the oils here in the United States. Oils over there, they say they get away with 15, 20,000 miles. Here, it's not the same. So in essence, is it smart to do 10,000 mile oil changes? No, it's dumb. You're lazy. You're, you're being cheap. You don't care about maintenance like everybody else does. It's a stupid idea. And can you use... High mileage oils in lower mileage engines, yes you can, and yes they are better uh, to use. And no, the manufacturers don't all the manufacturers don't all tell you that 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 you can use high mileage oils and stuff like that because to be honest with you, a lot of these guys pay to be on the manufacturer's suggested list. It's not something platonically that's done. Everybody says, oh, it's not Dexos two, or it's not Motocraft this, or it's not. All the new oil is compatible with with your engine. That's all a bunch of bullshit. So whatever you think you know, throw that shit out the window. Yes, you can use high mileage oils and lower mileage uh, vehicles. That's not a problem. It has more uh, additive to it. It has a better shear rate and stuff to it. It's a better oil overall to it. They put more esters in it and stuff, which is actually healthier for the engine. Does a little bit more cleaning because regular oils don't clean, regardless of what you think. Everybody's like, oh, I'll put diesel oil in it. It's got more magnesium and calcium in it. It'll be fine. No, that's not how that works. It stops things from getting worse, but it doesn't go in there like scrubbing bubbles and clean all the plaque off your teeth and stuff like that. <laughs> the varnish and sludge out of the inside of the engine. That's not how it works. That was an old wives' tale that was built from back in the day when they're like, oh, I'll put diesel oil in it. It'll clean it out. No, it won't. That's all a bunch of hogwash. So to straighten it out here, there you go. Have a great day, guys. Be blessed. I love you all.